Hey everybody, I wanted to uh, do a review of my new iPad 2 for a while, but there's been so many events going on that uh, I've never gotten to it, and today I was going to, and then uh, Kim Jong-il died today. Uh, so I want to somehow compare Kim Jong-il to my iPad, and I would, my iPad 2, excuse me. I would say to you that the iPad 2 is an amazing way to receive information. It's beautiful. Um, large face uh, display, beautiful pixels, all the apps are better suited rather than an iPhone display. Um, the only problem is, is AT&T. Um, AT&T's data plan is not good. They uh, charge a lot. Um, and like I said, they've also been uh, restricting uh, the amount of data now for my iPhone and they are my Kim Jong-il they are but I see the difference is that I can run around and say AT&T sucks and I can go out there and write on a board and I could really if I wanted to leave them but when you're under the dictator like Kim Jong-il you can't and um, You know, that's the last country I think that really needs to fall is, and it needs, it needs information. I mean, if we could slip a, a couple of million iPads across there, things might change. But um, as far as my iPad, again, I, uh, my review is, um, my review is uh, I don't really get to use it that much because someone else in my house likes it more than I do. So again, freedom of information is, an, is, a, is a key. Uh, to any country and to any household. So uh, I can't give you a full review because I haven't had a full time with it to really sit down with it. Um, but I will tell you that um, I bought the 3G with wi the Wi-Fi and 3G. It was more expensive. You can get a three. You can get a Wi-Fi brand only for 4.99, and you can get a Wi-Fi with 3G for six something. I got it because um, I wanted to show my parents how to use it. And I was going to need 3G because, much like North Korea, they know nothing of Wi-Fi. They know, th they know nothing of iPads and the like. When you go down to my parents' house, it's kind of like going, even though I'm going down, it's like going to North Korea in a lot of ways. Though their great dictator is Jesus. You see, you see, um, that was the craziest thing today was the fact that everybody was crying in the streets. I, you know, the whole thing is surreal to me, and, I, and I'm not one to talk because look at me with my bushy beard and my, my crazy hair, but, uh, you know, North Korea, to me, is, is, a, is a Woody Allen movie in the making. It's just, it's, it's too, I, I, it's 2011, and, that, and that's going on. So let's hope the whole thing gets dismantled. Um, but anyway, so my review, buy an iPad to or wait because there's rumors that a, a new one's coming out in February and March so if you can hold out um, you might want to do that uh, but yeah it, it's it's so hard to um, do these <laughs> try to be funny when I when I listen to the news and I listen to the protests in Egypt and and um, you know the trial of Bradley Manning on democracy now and there's so many things you have to get be involved with but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to blog more and try to be more funny. I've, I'm going to make a concerted effort in 2012 to be less depressing. Um, but let's hope, you know, that the dying of Kim Jong-il, which you probably shouldn't put the word ill in your name, um, is uh, going to be a, a turning point for that country. Uh, and again, it's hard to get any information about that country because they don't allow any information out. And I think that's what you really have to keep in mind with SOPA, which is uh, censoring of the internet, and uh, you know, just, just you know, News Corp and all these consolidated news sources that don't give a true, I mean, it's so weird how any news story now, I just feel like I can't trust anybody. I have to go out there and investigate it myself, which is exhaustive, you know, you, to do your own, to become your own reporter every morning to see if the story you're reading is actually true, no matter who the source. I feel like I gotta make sure that, you know, I'm getting the story right. So maybe I really should, maybe I really should either A, uh, go back to stand up, or B, maybe start blogging again if I'm gonna spend all this time. Or else I'm just really just being crazy.
So maybe I should stop being so crazy and doing, doing some more work. But anyway, iPad 2, um, I love it. I recommend the 499 one with no 3G. That way you won't get yourself in trouble. But uh, remember, if you try to leave it and work it without a, a Wi-Fi area, you might be disappointed. So um, that's that. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.